Technomancer for zero point fuel. I know I said the next video I'd have this running, but I ran into an issue. This is plywood. Um, don't use plywood if you don't have to. Basically, when I went to mount this wire on the edge, like this, this is a clamping system for the connection. Well, this material is not strong enough to give me a good connection. So what I had to do is I'm going to have to pull off all these connections, which is 24, 36 of them, and drill a hole in this and drive a piece of plastic down inside of it um, so that it'll clamp this sufficiently so I don't have to worry about vibration and it working itself loose. I was going to solder them, but then it makes it hard to remove the coils. The other issue I wanted to show you was that it's extremely hard to get this connection right here to solder to this wire. The wire is so heavy, a conventional pencil soldering station really doesn't get hot enough for that connection. So what I had to do is I had to go to this right here, which is a Weller 1.2 amp uh, soldering gun. It's uh, 8200 model at 140 watts and this will work this is will get this connection hot enough to melt it right to that connection and that's important you want to make sure these connections are solid there's no issue no vibration issue going to be generated when the motor's running so unfortunately it's going to take me a day to fix all these connections but I wanted to show you what's going on and reference this in the future because stop any issues that others may have when building this motor. So I would say MDF, you might have the same problem with MDF. If you do, then this is the solution. You're driving a plastic block down inside of it and then just uh, drilling a hole in that and that becomes a clamping system. Look at one that's complete here. This is the ground connection, so I can kill the coil. And there's the output. And there's the in, the positive in. So there's a complete coil the way it looks on the edge. 